Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. I'm Shadow Fury 33, bringing you a match between the Sponge and Silencer on Battle for Planet 17. So this map, as we've seen before, is a weirdly come on, weirdly asymmetric map. It, as you can see, not symmetric. Kind of close though. Kind of almost has a symmetry along this axis right here. Anyway, the Sponge going for cloakies, Silencer going for cloakies. Sounds are very quickly getting one glaive, and that's it. Doesn't want to waste too much money on his glaives. Wants to get his economy up very quickly. Also got a very quick morph. E-cell only on support com. While the sponge going for an E-cell only support com too, but going for a bit more early raiders. This, actually, sounds are going for a very quick... Rector, Rector's glaives. He doesn't want to raid too much. He wants to scout a little bit. But he's going to get raided up fairly hard. Actually, this Rector is... Not building anything quite yet. Sounds are going for wind generators, not going for anything else. He does have enough energy to worry about the wind generators quite yet. Very quickly pushing on some glaives. This is good timing too. He's going to make sure he's going to have enough glaives to defend against the sponges. And he has terrain advantage as well, so that should be fine. However, the sponge is sending more and more glaives. He's got five glaives open. He wants... Okay, the sponge wants to raid. Silencer wants to just defend and build up economy. It looks like Silencer has to respond and ha... He's... Not doing great, not doing terribly. He did not lose anything. The glaze will heal up, it's not a big deal. But he has to make sure he's not... I don't know, at this point he is kind of running it 5 on 4. This could very well go in Silencer's favor, but okay, 5 on 5. More even Silencer going down to meet the sponge. Wants to push him out, apparently possibly wants to expand the sponge. Is just trying to get an advantageous position. He's going to actually not be able to do that. He's not going to be able to do anything. Cannot, Should not go uphill. Now, this is a hill here. You do not want to go uphill when you're fighting. Generally a bad idea. However, Silencer also doesn't want to bunch up his units. The sponge really is a matter of when he comes in. And the sponge is coming up. He is... Looks he's going for an attack. He's... Well, he is going to find one, but Silencer's going to win this. He has enough units. He just needs to make sure to position them properly. His commander is coming in as well, but his commander only has the starting pea shooter. Now, during this bit of downtime, let's double check. The sponge is only building more cloakies. The sponge really wants to push this out. Silencer has to respond and is doing exactly that. And actually, the sponge has a slight economic advantage at this point. He's taking advantage of his position to build up some metal, well, metal extractor power plants. And the silencer trying to break out of here. Silencer splitting up two groups, losing, killing one of the sponge's groups, but losing his other group. The sponge, however, while the numerical is, no, just lost his numerical advantage. And now at this point, the groups are not meeting up. Silencer keeping his Glade groups split up and did not manage to get a full local numerical sup superiority there. Basically even, but Silencer did have absolute numerical superiority, but it matters if it's local and only if it's local. More Glaives coming up from Silencer, and now he's going for a nice flank on there. Rather, not a nice flank so much, but a nice surround anyway. Takes out all the Glaives, loses a couple of his own, three of his own, but that is enough. Able to at least scare the Sponge away. But it doesn't matter, the sponge has been building up in the center. He has been taking full advantage of this map, really having a good economic position right now. Silencer at the same time has been building up for overdrive a bit. He's been building up more of an energy infrastructure, building up a bit more metal, but for the most part has relied largely on his commander for energy. And at this point, overdrive appears to be kicking in. He is getting at least one of his metal extractors overdriven. But that's it. The sponge, however... Sending a few more glaives in, and I think at this point, it's really just becoming a reclaim field for Silencer. That's where most of his metal is coming from right now, is these these wrecks of glaives. The sponge needs to move back, consolidate. The sponge is in a much better position territory-wise. He has basically this entire section of the map, and most of this section of the map are his. Or just his to claim. He doesn't need to attack right now. Silencer has been pushed into a corner, and will likely stay there for now. The sponge seems to... I'll not be so sure about that. Sending in some ticks, make sure that he actually has some way of dealing with these glaives once they come in. Silencer is just pumping out glaives. He only has one rector. I think No, he only has three rectors. But one of them assisting, one of them around building economy structures, and one of them reclaiming. So it's still quite useful for Silencer right now. But the sponge drawing Silencer's forces away from his main base, so at least if he loses the match, it's still in an area he likes. And the tick coming in! This tick is going to turn things around! However, or should, but not quite. Silencer moves away. The sponge, however, does at least even things out a little bit. Those disabled glaives cannot help with Comet, of course, and... Nice position advantage! Nice micro from the sponge! It's... Is it going to be enough? Yes, it will be! The sponge able to take out all of Silencer's army with half the army and a tick. Nicely done there. 
and the reclaim field is more in the sponge's territory. Therefore, Silencer does not get those resources. Nice positioning there, nice choice of battle location by the sponge. That is going to help him out a lot. Silencer, however, moving it forward, it looks like he wasn't aware of the sponge's location, which is a bit surprising. You should have radar on that. Just barely has radar coverage. Wasn't sure exactly what it was, most likely. Now he is sure. Getting more glaze, more defenders. The sponge isn't actually pushing his units out as quickly as Silencer has been. Silencer has been pushing 15 metal into this factory for as long as he can be. Now he's pushing all of his metal. The sponge, however, does have a caretaker being built up and does not want to join the battle right now. This is going to be advantageous for Silencer no matter who wins. The sponge, however, looks like he's going to try to cut through and he's actually not doing too badly. He needs to retreat, but still got a couple glaives. He needs to move back. He, he cannot win this. And this is this is donation of metal. He gets, needs to get those glaives out of there. That's a lot of metal that he donated. Getting rid of metal extractor, not the biggest deal right now. Because the reclaim is what is keeping Silencer going. Because right now, like I said, the sponge is all his territory. He just needs to take it. And he has been. Throughout this entire time, he has been. Although his rectors are idle, he needs to take care of that. These two rectors here, this one here, this one here, they need to be used. Silencer, on the other hand, while he does have an economic disadvantage, has a military advantage. It's really a matter of positioning right now. The sponge needs to attack from a high ground, he needs to attack where it's away. He actually needs to reclaim this field once he gets the chance. Because that's his. He just grab it. Silencer, on the other hand, is moving around the corner. Trying to get on the high ground, and getting on the high ground from a relatively undefended position. A couple defenders is no match against 20 some odd glaives. However, one tick does even things out a bit. And the sponge's glaives coming in once again. He's gonna pull this trick again. Is he gonna pull the trick again? Actually, it's hard to say. He is definitely with reinforcements glaives he has this covered though admittedly a few more seconds those stun glaives are going to be ready to fight again that being said the sponge still able to well actually not do that much in all honesty silence are able to break the sponge's center position so despite the fact that those glaives were stunned the sponge ultimately lost that center he's been doing really well with micromanagement in combat though and this is now a contentious wreck field but Silencer switching over to Rocco's, that is going to really put a dent in the Sponge's center position. Silencer loses his commander. That is fairly big, but he had enough energy economy that's not the biggest thing in the world. The Sponge does have to worry a bit more about that. If he loses his commander, he only has a few solar collectors, about 10 energy worth. And the rest is his commander. But the Sponge does have a nice position. He is starting to move in a bit more, stunning these Rocco's. Nice use of a tick there. All he needs to do is just keep these guys at bay. I mean, he doesn't... No, with just Glaze, he won't be able to push in too easily. Defender's advantage will overwhelm him. He can get rid of these armies pretty well thanks to this Lotus. But the Sponge can't quite push in quite yet. He, he might try, but I kind of doubt it. No, he is trying to consolidate on the high ground. Make sure he's not losing too many units. And this Wreckfield has gotten less... I mean, it's still Wreckfield is... Silencers. It still has silencers. Sponge's commander is just hanging out. I'm not sure what it's doing. The workers, the rectors rather, are setting up more metal extractors. None of them reclaiming though. This whole reclaim field, the sponge can grab. The silencer is grabbing it. He's grabbing his own commander. The sponge is about to stop him. Hopefully the sponge will get the hint that he needs to be doing some reclaim. Strictly speaking, doesn't need to. But if he gets more power structures, he gets like... Actually, maybe not a fusion plant, but definitely several more solar plants. If he gets a few of those and... Are there geothermal? There are, are no geothermal plants in this map, just to point that out. But he could go for several solar panels, and with that, he would be able to get enough energy to make use of all the metal. He could just re he has all this metal. This is his. He just grab it and take it. And now he has a military advantage, a massive military advantage, four times the cost. And given that's mostly glaze, that's huge. And Sponge just a moving his forces in here, not even bothering to line move too much, just attacking, going forward. Losing quite a few, but it doesn't matter. He has such a massive advantage in terms of military. However, he doesn't have a massive advantage in terms of economy. He's losing actually quite a few glaives. Getting onto the high ground, though, and this is where he's going to be unassailable. Silencer losing more and more glaives. He's just pumping them out as quickly as possible. But that's kind of all he has. And Silencer throws in the towel, realizing he hasn't got much else. So that is game. Sponge wins. So I'll have another game for you. Actually, will be also, once again, the Sponge versus Silencer. So stay tuned for that. See if Silencer can take revenge for what happened here.